What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to another FIFA 13 gameplay. Today I will be using uh, the German national team. I'm going to be playing against Phil Pato. I believe he will be using Portugal. He wanted to get his skills in there and I cannot blame him. This was a highly contested and very, very entertaining match to play. It was back and forth, pretty open. He's again using that 4-3-3 formation, which I have admitted that I do indeed struggle with. After you guys have now played the demo for a little bit, what formations are working for you guys? I released a tip video yesterday uh, trying to help a little bit with what is going to work for you and what may not work for you. My understanding is, though, the demo build is a little bit behind the build that I played. So uh, some of the stuff might not feel as effective. But the... Uh and for me, having played both uh, the build at the FIFA 13 community event and the demo, I managed to only play, I think, two games on the demo and was like, well, you can forget about this right now. I don't. I'm not interested in playing against the AI, so I will have to go uh, back to maybe playing a little bit of FIFA 12. I do want to finish out Path to Power, so that is something that you guys want to see. Go ahead and leave a comment for that down below. I, or let me know on Twitter, tweet me, all the same, it's at Airjapes FIFA. I do appreciate your support, your responses, all things considered. But he stops a penalty right there using the tutorial. Uh, no, I hadn't told him how to uh, stop him or what my technique is to stop penalties. I will say with the technique that I use, you have to have extremely quick reactions. And if that's just not something for you, it's going to be very, very difficult. I even struggle with the reaction time um, some of the times with it. But if I get my focus level up, and I suppose if I have enough caffeine, I will be able to teach you how to stop some of those penalties. Moving on back to uh, back to the gameplay and some other tips. So uh, hopefully you guys now understand a little bit more about what I was alluding to with the first touch control. And if you are holding down the sprint button, odds are you're going to end up losing the ball because your first touch just isn't going to be there. The first touch, I will say, is a bit improved from the version that you're playing in some senses. Uh, and that's more using your football IQ. Like if you're, if you're doing what a natural footballer would do, you're going to get better touches. But if you're trying to do a little bit too much, it such as can be a bit crazy from time to time. You saw Phil Pato on the screen there a minute ago. Flick it straight up over his head. Really simple stuff. That's just a flick with the right stick in the opposite direction of the way you're receiving the pass. As long as the pass is bouncing in the air, more often than not, all of the players in the game will do it. Even your center backs will do it. It isn't something that works out very well. It is something that you kind of have to have a little bit of ball control or a little good little bit of dribbling for it to work out best. But uh, I wanted to also ask you guys, what is your favorite part about uh, about the demo so far that you've played? I, When I tried to describe FIFA 13, or people asked me, they said, Japes, what do you like most about this game? And uh, it's hard to pinpoint one thing. It goes down to the first touch, the complete dribbling, the AI, uh, the runs made off the ball. And I think it boils down to EA made a lot of kind of small changes they weren't massive massive changes but a lot of small changes that mounded up together to create this just enormous mountain of a totally different feeling game which is uh all we really could have hoped for and uh, the thing, the real question now is going to be, is Ultimate Team faster? What is Ultimate Team gameplay going to be like? And that's really one of the things that I'm looking forward to with FIFA 13. Also, what I'm going to be looking forward to more than just about anything is clubs in FIFA 13. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to hear the rage at the beginning from people because they're no longer going to be able to boost their pros using sliders and offline game modes. You're going to have to be playing online and clubs players are notorious for using five foot two virtual pros holding down the sprint button putting their blue afros on and just running straight up the pitch frankly i just don't think that's gonna work anymore and so i am thrilled to see that because that is not my gameplay style at all be it clubs or be it whatnot i actually played a little bit of fifa 12 clubs last night with uh shifty nepenthes and my buddy phase zero uh, and it was still extremely enjoyable. There's something really, really rewarding about playing uh, in a team aspect, even on a virtual football game. Uh, and that's why I think 2v2s are excellent. I wish I could have gotten the gameplay from the 2v2s that Nepenthes and I played at the FIFA 13 event. Um, we played mainly as Borussia Dortmund, and it fit our play style perfectly. So uh, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get you guys some 2v2 footage. Or if you guys, I really want to do a club series for FIFA 13. So if that's something that you guys 
want to see, also let me know. I guess this is this is kind of a take and uh, or a question answer with you guys. A little nice little interaction commentary, I suppose. I will so I will need your some feedback and support on this video. Uh, but moving on, a few key errors for me here, and Phil Pato ends up taking the lead. Portugal is a very, very good side. They're very, very well balanced, and I have to say, Pepe could be the best center back on the game. It's I'm not quite sure what stat it is that boils down to what makes a good center back or not, but he is... He seems to just be everywhere. He manages to get to so many passes that I try to get or make. So many through balls. So many, you know, dribbling by him is just an absolute mess if you're controlling him well. Uh, and so uh, their defense is basically sorted out in the middle with just one player, which is crazy. But I managed to get in, slip on by their 90th minute goal, Marco Royce. Uh, <clears throat> and that really boiled down to more poor defending from... Felpato. He stepped when he knew he shouldn't have. He knew it as soon as he did it. Uh, and so a very, very interesting, uh, interesting way to go into extra time. We chose classic, so it will be um, two halves and then uh, penalties after, if indeed we do make it that far. <clears throat> But I'll talk about the German national team briefly. The German national team is the best it's been in FIFA for a long time. And the main reason is because Germany now has quite a few four-star skillers. With this new influx of young Germans that are coming through, we've got Marco Reus, Mesut Ozil, uh, Mario Goetze, Ilkay Gundogan. Uh, all of these guys are four-star skills, and it makes for a much, much more enjoyable experience. And on top of that, you've got Hummels and Schweinsteiger and Lahm, uh, Manuel Neuer in goal. So the German national team, I'm going to be looking forward to playing with a good bit more. I have to sort out my finishing on FIFA 13, though. It was debatable at best from time to time. Anyways, guys, we're going to come to a close of this commentary. If you did enjoy this video, a like or a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want to see some more FIFA 13 stuff. Other than that, my name is Japes and I will catch you all next time.